I've been getting a lot of comments and people asking me which app is better between Alfred and Raycast. So I tested both apps and in this video, I'll tell you which one I think is better. I've already reviewed Raycast on this channel. So it's only fair that I review Alfred as well, but I'm not gonna make you guys watch a whole video on just Alfred. So I'll add the comparison to Raycast as well in this video so that we can finally decide which app is the better app. So here's Alfred. Alfred is a productivity tool that boosts efficiency with hotkeys and shortcuts and it lets you control your Mac using custom actions. This means you can launch app faster, browse, preview, and take action on files using your keyboard. You can use its clipboard manager. You can create workflows that can do a series of complex actions with a simple keystroke and do a lot more through a simple interface, which is what a productivity tool or a utility tool does. It has a similar interface to Spotlight, but with more features. The design feels clunky and dated. A quick look at settings shows just how dated it is. It feels like it hasn't been updated in over a decade. This app might have won awards in the early 2000s, but damn. Now, spoiler alert. Some of these features, in fact, all of the useful features that Alfred has is behind a paywall. So much so that even Spotlight is a better or a worthy competitor to Alfred. At this point, let's put Alfred against Raycast and just go feature for feature. So both Alfred and Raycast have a very similar interface, which is a floating bar can be moved around the screen. Raycast has an option to make this become a bigger window, which shows frequently used commands and apps, which actually saves you time if there is a command you use often. Now, Alfred has no such option. So for this round, it's easy to see how Raycast wins. I think price is more than the amount you pay to access a pro version or a full version of the app. I think it's a combination of the cost of the full version itself, the pricing model, and the availability and the usability of a free version, if there is one. So let's talk about the pricing model. Alfred has a one-time single payment model. So pay once, use forever. Raycast, on the other hand, uses a subscription model. A monthly sub gets you continuous access to the app until you stop payment. So in this instance, it's easy to see that Alfred is the better option. Now let's talk about the cost for the full version. Alfred will cost you 34 or 59 euros as a one-time fee, while Raycast will cost you $8 a month. In about six months, you're even on both apps and Raycast will require continuous payment to use a full version. So this is an easy Alfred win. Now let's talk about the usability of the free version. Comparing the features available in the free version of both apps, Alfred has almost zero features and is arguably on the same level as Spotlight. Raycast has all of the core functionality present in the free version. So when it comes to usability of the free version, Raycast takes this one. So for price, winning two out of three rounds, Alfred is the better option. Now let's talk about probably the biggest thing here, which is feature integration. So both apps, Alfred and Raycast, claim to do very similar or almost the same functions which is to ultimately enhance productivity. So we're gonna put that to the test. Finding and launching apps is one of the easiest things both apps do. While Alfred just opens the app, Raycast, in addition to opening the app, lets you quit the app, uninstall, and a few other features. That Having a quick calculator or a quick converter is probably one of the easiest thing that both apps can implement, but only Raycast has a usable converter calculator where you can do quick conversions, quick calculations, as you can see here, right? I can't do anything on Alfred at all. I have to open the calculator app for Alfred to give me any reasonable or any worthy conversions. But Raycast, 
has an inbuilt usable intelligent calculator so in my opinion i think it's easy to see raycast winning here and for system commands like turning on the screen saver shutting down locking your screen they both handle it the same way without any issues and despite the same level of access raycast feels like it has a bit more now there's a little bit of a difference when it comes to a dictionary or defining words they both eventually show you the definition of a word but raycast has an inbuilt adaptation of the dictionary while in alfred it will actually open up the dictionary app for you so raycast feels a bit better in this sense okay so we've gone feature for feature we've checked out the design the feature integration and how they work on the mac i think now this answers the question between which app is better between alfred and raycast raycast is a much better well-designed app and in my opinion there is no reason to pick alfred over raycast so let's recap alfred is an award-winning mac os productivity utility tool but raycast which is its closest competition beats alfred in all categories but price better features better design better integration better interface let me put it this way if i had to choose between alfred and spotlight if those are my only options i'll stick with spotlight so that's my review and my verdict if you don't know now you do